Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Lauren Thomas. We begin with former South Carolina Governor Nikki Haley. She's come under fire for some comments she made in a recent interview. The interview happened on Glenn Beck's internet podcast and a clip was shown on Twitter where the former governor was commenting on the removal of the Confederate flag from the state house grounds and the events that led up to that removal. That includes racial tensions that were building as a result of the Walter Scott shooting in April of 2015 and the massacre at Mother Emanuel AME Church in Charleston two months later. In the clip, she speaks about the victims of the shooting as well as the shooter, Dylan Roof, saying that he hijacked the Confederate battle flag, saying, quote, we don't have hateful people in South Carolina. There's always this small minority that's always going to be there, but people saw this as service and sacrifice and heritage. But once he did that, there's no way to overcome it. She goes on to say that the national media came in in droves. They wanted to define what happened. She says they wanted to make this about racism. They wanted to make it about gun control. They wanted to make it about the death penalty. She says, I really pushed off the national media and said there will be a time and place when we talk about this, but it's not now. Now, there were responses online to her comments, including a response from Senator Marlon Kempson, who represents Charleston. He tweeted this, saying, as the senator who represents Mother Emanuel and one of the floor leaders to remove the flag, I find these comments ignorant of history and the facts. The General Assembly removed the flag with two thirds vote in a multi week debate. Haley was a sideline Monday morning cheerleader at best. Representative J.A. Moore responded to Senator Kimson's tweet saying, Senator Kimson, as you know, my sister was tragically murdered in the Mother Emanuel AME Church tragedy. Your leadership and friendship was extremely important to myself and my family. He goes on to say, let's be clear, Nikki Haley, continued use of this tragedy for political reasons is disgusting. Now, Nikki Haley responded to that backlash on Twitter saying, 2015 was a painful time for our state. The pain was and is still real. She included a 2015 New York Times article about her decision to remove the Confederate flag saying, I stand by it. I continue to be proud of the people of South Carolina and how we turn the hate of a killer into love for each other. Now, for more on Nikki Haley's comments, you can check out this story on our website, WLTX.com.